Are you a junk food addict? Do you get to 7 p.m. on a night time and it's day one of your lose 10 stone in a day diet, you've had some lettuce, a rice cake, a little bit of dust, it's 7 p.m. there and then hunger, pain start to, start to really get to you and you black out. You wake up an hour later and there's a knock on the door, you get up, still hungry, get to the door, open the door and when you've been blacked out, you rang yourself a takeaway. My name's Joe Sexton from Fat Loss Feast and I want to help. Welcome to episode two of Hectic Healthy Eating. So to stop you and me and everyone else eating bad food and starving ourselves, we've got to make sure our healthy food's exciting. Healthy food's something that we actually want to eat. We need a good and healthy relationship with healthy food and not just eat salad and not just eat rice cakes and not starve ourselves because that's not gonna get us anywhere. Today we are making a family friendly and very budget friendly one pan curry. I say it's family friendly because you're gonna be using mild spices. If you wanna make it a little bit spicier, I've added some chili in this today, but you don't have to. And it's budget friendly because this is used leftover chicken. So leftover chicken goes a bit stringy in the curry, but if you've made a Sunday roast with some chicken, you've used half the roast chicken for the family and you've just got some sitting there, throw this in the curry. It's easy to make, it's really low in calories, so it's perfect if you wanna lose weight. It's zero sins if you're following Slimming World and it's very low points if you're following Weight Watchers. Right, are you ready? It's time to cook. Right, 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 wait there. Before we start chopping the vegetables, my five-year-old daughter hates vegetables so much. It's literally, I may as well tell her I'm gonna murder her when I tell her she's gonna eat her vegetables. So today we're gonna to be chopping these up really fine. So the peppers and onions really, really fine. So if they have a spoonful of curry and they've got some chicken in there, some tasty sauce in there, some potato on there, some rice on there, there's also some hidden peppers and onions. So the, the smaller you chop them, especially for fussy eaters, the better. Hello everyone. So first off, we're gonna finally chop an onion. I watched a Gordon Ramsay video about this. He said if you don't chop the stem off at the end, it holds it together and it doesn't bleed so you don't cry. I questioned it at first and I thought, who, I've done a few videos, who am I to question Gordon Ramsay? And then we're gonna go red pepper. Like I said in the start, we wanna be making the bits of vegetables really small. I don't know if I hide this from my daughter Olivia, she's more likely to eat the little bits of pepper. Then it's the garlic. I originally said two, but I thought, right, I really like garlic. Let's go for three cloves. It's going to be tastier. And then there's some lazy ginger as well. You can grate some ginger. So on a pan with it on medium heat ginger. with a little bit of low cal spray, I want you to gently cook off the onions and the peppers. After about five or six minutes, I want the garlic in. For around about two more minutes, stir that up, let it cook down, and then it's time for the ginger for another minute. After a minute, you're going to put two teaspoons of curry powder in, mix that down, cook that for a minute, and then it's three teaspoons of tomato puree. And again, just let that cook down for a minute. After that, we're gonna put salt, pepper, if you wanna go spicy, add some chili flakes, and then 150 milliliters of chicken stock. Let that cook down for two more minutes, and then we're gonna put some cooked potatoes in, we're gonna put some leftover chicken, and then one big tin and one small tin of chopped tomatoes. Mix that down, let it cook for around about five minutes, a little bit of coriander, and then, big dollop of natural yogurt. Take that off the heat, let it warm up, and then yeah, it's starting to really smell good now. And this is the best part, the part you've all been waiting for. It's a slow-mo, pop it on, sprinkle time. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Honestly, I appreciate it so much. If you haven't already, give the video a share. The more people that see these videos, the more that I can do. If no one's watching them, then what's the point of doing them? I really hope you enjoy it. If you've got any questions, please let us know in the comments. And I hope to see you on episode three of Hectic Healthy Eating.